Hello everybody, hello. It's the Worm, and I'm back with Raging Lou. Last time we had quite another episode. Uh, two, I think I, I think I wrote this down, two <laughs> extremely fascinating episodes, one after another, left me feeling quite drained afterward. So, we're going to talk about it now, because there is a whole lot to talk about. Um, so, before I begin, I'm just going to say, yes, yes, I know, there, there is, I see the elephant, I see the elephant in the room, don't think I don't, it, it's there, we're going to talk about it, but let's just leave it aside for now we we will address the elephant but there's a few things i want to start talking about before that um so it's uh i think i did talk about it at the begin, not at the beginning but as the episode started going on last time how um It became more obvious to uh, to me that Rokako... Well, it, all the pieces that was mentioned before... Uh, uh, and the game went over it, so this is just kind of a rehash. But it, it's one of those things where I felt like this has happened to me in more than one visual novel by this point. Where I, I have all the pieces of the puzzle. I just was unable to put them together. Like, I remembered the, the scene where we, you know, way in the beginning we saw Rokako um, looking up at us, and and the times, like, I think in the beginning of Wit, where she, there was the game made a note to, or called attention to, the way she said some kind of things that were strange. Um, and we got the stuff with the spider, and we got the stuff with the dream catcher, and, you know, all of that stuff... It's one of those things where I almost want to, like, <laughs> facepalm after I get the confirmation. It's like, oh, yes, of course. I I knew all that. I just didn't put it together. And so um, part of me is a bit disappointed. I'll say that. Um, yeah, I, I just don't, I don't know why I was so hesitant to... Or unable to put it together um, but yeah um, so it was Rokako <laughs> Rokako was the dreamer and that's fine um, we uh, will get more into that that's uh, that's part of the elephant um, uh, one thing I, I also want to address is <laughs> we had a very fun moment where it has been revealed that Haruaki is not Haruaki. Yes. And I definitely didn't see this one coming. Um, <laughs> so he is essentially... What would he be? He's he's a kind of swindler. He, he could be a, a con man. He could be. The thing is, I didn't see it coming, but it's completely understandable. And it was kind of like a. It's like the ultimate sort of conclusion, for who this guy has been built up to be. You know, it, 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 that it turns out this whole time. He's, he's been giving off a fake persona. He's not a medical student. He's not named Haruaki Fusaishi. It's just all... <laughs> it's all fake. And, um, you know, the naturally manipula manipulative personality, his kind of weird thought processes at times, it, it, all, it all comes together. And so I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that whole reveal. And I think it was uh, Lise who mentioned it. Um, just the idea of sort of like supernatural contracts and true names. Um, I get what you're saying, and I, I, I like that sort of stuff too. It's, I don't think it's just 
um, an Eastern thing or Japanese thing. I'm pretty sure the whole idea of, of true names and those true names having power has... I think that's cross-cultural. And um, so it's just, a, it's just you know, another fun instance of that occurring. Um, so yeah, I can dig it. I can dig the, the, uh, the reveal there. And I, I, we got confirmation... Well, I got confirmation from the comments, but but it was heavily hinted at in game that, yeah, Mitsuji, our resident sleep sheep, our convenience store lady, seems to have been Haruaki's ex this whole time, and I'm not sure that I'm I'm not sure how that all fits together. I, so. He does have an ex. That that story's true. It's just it's just strange. Like so, wh why was he originally out driving out into the wilderness? It's because he supposedly had a breakup. And yes, Mitsuji seems to be his ex, but why? Well, obviously he didn't know. He didn't know about Mitsuji's. <laughs> supernatural inclinations, I suppose. But it seems weird that he's, you know, getting out of the city to get away from a bad breakup, and then he runs into his ex. I need to go back and look at that, those first scenes where they meet up again. Um, because surely they must recognize each other, so maybe, maybe some of those early scenes will take on a new meaning if I look at them again. Um, but yeah, you know, I guess, I guess sometimes you can have an ex that is just some sort of supernatural agent that travels around dealing with, you know, potentially apocalyptic phenomena. I, I guess that's just a thing that can happen. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so kind of a, I don't know, I don't know how to describe that situation. Funny. Uh, it's, yeah, um, so <laughs> that's that, just, uh, yeah. Okay, well, is it time to address the elephant? I guess we should. I know, uh, someone in the comments, was it, um, Harris, Alex Harris? I think, I think was the one who said it. Let me check. Someone is waiting for me to address this thing. Uh huh. Yes, it was. Uh, so let's let's break this down. All right. So Rikako Uematsu is in fact a. What would it be? Centuries old entity that I, I don't know if, if 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 it's implied that she was there when the fur when the uh, when the fake Shinai Sama religion was made, but she is either a part of or descendant of a group, the Uematsus, who infiltrated the creation of the Shanai faith and they are in particularly the descendants of the the native people of Japan who were there before the ancestors of the modern day Japanese people I believe she called them the Yamato people and I'm pretty sure I have heard that before like um, you know in, in northern Japan uh, Hokkaido there's the Ainu people and they are I think they would be um, somewhat related maybe not completely related but it's a similar instance that where they are a native they were the natives of northern Japan and Hokkaido and then the Yamato people sort of pushed them back and, and uh, inhabited the area um, so I'm not sure if it's if they're the same as the Ainu or if they're meant to be another just another uh, you know subset of previous inhabitants. 
But uh, regardless, uh, they <laughs> they bear a grudge against the the uh, the descendants of the Yamato people, um, and so does their god, I suppose, which is the uh, Forgotten Spider, uh, and. I, I have to actually go back and look at it. I think Rukako said something like, did they, her, her people or ancestors, try to keep it contained or something? And then she decided to unleash it? Or was it always the plan of her people to unleash it? I, I'm, I, I, I think there was a moment where she made a kind of distinction like that. But in any case, she at some point in time made the decision to attempt to release this god and uh, consume, using this go deity, consume the, the country, the, the modern day country of Japan. And she has been working at that duel for uh, a while. <laughs> and this has all culminated in our current situation, the dream, in which she is in fact the dreamer. Um, so, okay, here's the thing. I, I want to be able to assume here that we are all mature adults, right? Is, is that a fair assumption to make? Can we talk about um, mature themes or... heinous content. I mean, we've been dealing with murders and uh, things of that nature, which is obviously very terrible, but yes, the last episode, I would say, crossed a line. Or a few of them, actually. Crossed a few lines. Um, so, I, you know, I feel like it'd be I don't know. I feel like it would be okay to address it. Uh, I just, uh, <laughs> I just hope you're all okay with that. Um, so, well, I can at least let, let's start talking about the scene itself, the reveal. Um, I, I, it shocked me. You know, I've never, I don't have any experience being struck by lightning, but I feel like I can, um, I can relate to that experience now because. When Rikako made the, the statement that she made love to them all, I, I definitely felt like I was struck by lightning. That was, uh, that it, it was, and it, it, yeah, it was such a, just the, the way, the immediate feeling, like I, like I ran straight into a wall, like it wasn't a, a sort of, build up of disgust or, or normal sort of horror reaction it was just bam like suddenly it was just wow so and I can recall at the time thinking okay she said that but does she really mean that does she mean it in the way I think she might mean it and then over the course of the conversation it turns out okay yes she she did mean it like that and and she did mean it for everyone. And it's just <sighs> it was uh, it was a lot. Um, it it yeah. It was it's just it's like zero to a hundred very very quickly. Now, I I mean what 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 is the kind of conversation we're, we we should be having here? Is it that? Um, I mean, what is this? Hang on, I'm curious about something. I'm gonna look this up. What is this game? Do I have this on here? What is this game rated? Steam doesn't really have a kind of uh, general sort of rating system. They just have the tags, huh? I mean, uh, yeah, sexual content's on there. 
Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> along with the psychological horror and the uh, gore, so I mean, those are definitely pertinent tags. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it, it's, I, I'm not sure exactly what I can comment on here. I guess one thing I can say is, I feel like that's made, that this whole situation has made it very hard for me to see Rokako as redeemable in any way. And I'm a bit worried that they're gonna do that. Because consider what they what they showed at the end there with uh, Kyo, or, or even, well, first it was Haruaki saying he was, you know, we're in his head, we're hearing his thoughts. And he said, hey, we, we knew he was going to do the fraud play. We knew he was going to do something. I was expecting that. I didn't know exactly what, but I was expecting him to do pull, pull one over on her in some way. But he still said that he was attracted to her, even after hearing all the, the craziness. And then Kyo was also still attracted to her after all that. And at the end, she, you know, lost her connection with her god. And... Now that she's been, I guess, rendered harmless in a way, what, is Kyo just going to take care of her? And it's, they're going to live happily ever after? Like, what's what's the deal here, exactly? Like, what... Because, you know, th th in one way you could say, oh, hey, it's, it's all just a dream. Yes, it's a piece of reality in a dream, but you could say sort of, oh, all, 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 all's well that ends well. We, we save the day, the dream's over, we can all get back to our lives. But, I mean, <laughs> Rokako has, has committed utterly heinous crimes outside of the dream. You know, it's not just like everything wrong she did was in the dream. So, I don't know. I, I think... I think it'll be a bit of a misstep if if she does get to just get off scot-free at the end of this because they they went so far so fast it's just yeah um, yeah I, I don't know what else there is to say about that really I mean I think some people I think people were wondering like is it is it okay to have that that sort of idea, the, uh, the the kind of crimes that she did, is do you think that is okay to put in, you know, this piece of media or something like that? And I I guess I'm the wrong person to ask about that. Um, it definitely made me very uncomfortable, which. I, if that's the if that was what the game was trying to do, you know, well, they're successful. But whether or not that's, you know, I mean, it's 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 a fictional story. We're dealing with a fictional story here, you know. So obviously they're allowed to do it. It's just, um, yeah. So I guess that answers that question. They're they're allowed to do it. It's just whether or not. It, Part of the issue, though, is just, I, it, you know, the, the reason why I was shocked so much is because I, I didn't really see, see it coming at all. It was just, just BAM. So, certainly, if you are not uh, prepared for something like that, you could be, I could see you being quite a bit disturbed, which, yeah, fair enough. It is disturbing. Um, okay, I think I've rambled on enough about that. If we, if you guys want to talk about that more in the comments, I think that's that's fine. Um, I don't, uh, I, I don't really look much at my analytics, but I have looked once or twice, and my audience, such as it is, it's weird to, for me to say something like that. Um, it says that my audience is mostly a bit older, and so I'd like to think we would be able to have a perfectly reasonable. Uh, conversation about you know what's you know our, our just thoughts on uh, media or, or something like this so all right let's uh, let's get back in the game um, give me one second and we will head back in there okay
Okay, we're back. Alright. So, we're back in it. Um, there is uh, one other thing I did want to ask about. And that is... How in the world did Rokako lose connection to the Spider God? She was threatening to kill herself. She... The lights went out, and I'm not sure we, we know who did that, or why. And then suddenly her connection was gone, and that, I mean, she was defeated instantly. So... I'm a bit confused about that. I, I, I'm i thinking they're they're going to explain it at some point, right? Or maybe they did and I missed it. If I missed it, please let me know. Um, because otherwise, if, if they don't address that, that feels a bit off. It, it feels almost too easy at that point. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's... Continue on with this. Uh, start us off, Kyo. Kimi ni wo nani wo dou itta mono ka mada wakaran ga. Kini shinai de kudasai. Boku mo desu. Oh, I was I was gonna continue off. Is it weird to say I still think there's gonna be like like. Presumably, we're 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 basically finished. We convinced the people not to kill each other, and we've defeated the dang dreamer. So, it should we should be in the clear, basically. Um, but is it weird for me to think that there's still gonna be one final big obstacle that's gonna just ruin our plans? I don't know what that's gonna look like, but I just have this feeling. それでもおそらく君は彼女とそして我々全てのいや、本当気にしないでください。もうちょっと上手いやり方があったかもしれませんから。So is she just Immortal or, or just long lived, or I mean, obviously, it's, it's another supernatural aspect to this, but is it now that she's disconnected from her god? Is, is she, has she lost all her supernatural? I think so. I think she's probably lost her healing and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> たび話し合う機会を持ちたいものだ。顔も見たくない。リカコさん。バカ。バカ。春秋様も。バカ。困ったことにこんな状態でも。uh, well, you're into what you're in. You're you're into what you're into, man. But uh, I would be fine not seeing her again. Same, actually, but I wouldn't admit it out loud. That's not good to hear. <laughs> Okay, but why? Why would you do that? Why? I mean, has she earned a redemption? Or is it just that the story... Is it the case that uh, the story wants to put it, like, you know, wrap this up and put a nice bow at the end and say everyone gets to live and go off and do their own thing at the end of this? Um, well, no, because the old man's dead. <laughs> he didn't get a redemption. And the thing is, she she, she wasn't repentant or anything like that. She was going to kill herself. It's just something occurred that prevented her. 
根気よく説得しようとすることはねっ一応筋は通してくださいね当たり前だ一方的にどうこうしたりなどせんただ生活上必要な手伝いくらいはさせてもらおう了解です説得などされません野里様など噛みちぎりますこれで撤収していいものかね少し待っててください最後の片付けがありますからそれにはちょっと歩かなきゃならないそうだな野里さんとモッチそれにハルちゃんはここに残って一応大丈夫だと思うけどリカコさん見張っといて。ゲボを吐きかけて差し上げるそれしかできないなら全然オッケーですけどねついていかずともよろしいか It was a funny moment last time when、um, cause you know it was that old thing where Haraki it, it was is trope the right word? It, it's that kind of trope where the character seems like he's accepting the villain's proposition But you know that they're gonna do a double cross or, or they have something in mind. It was kind of funny that, you know, we know Haru slash the god、um, has mind control powers, so it was funny to see her confirm. It's like, yeah, sorry to be a spoil sport, but I kind of see what's gonna happen. So that, that was fun. Eh, style be k i kotoa, style mas. Yoki kana. Oh! おう土蜘蛛殿あの時は散々んんもて遊んでくれましたな今やり返して差し上げようかな何をする気かねその手つきはやめたまえもっちみんな止めてええー、面白いのに君は春ちゃんと神様のおもりしゃあないというわけで最後の始末上から来る人たちを追い返すせっかくだから手伝ってちえみちゃんミッション3 dealing with the Miguruma the leaders of the feast now would it go peacefully or violently? わかったよ詐欺師さん harsh 聞きにくいんだけどうんリカコさんとの昔のことって大丈夫なのかなうーん実際覚えてないし覚えててもまあ子供の時の中とかと一緒でしょノーカンうーん OK Yes I do think OK so here's the thing This was something I actually wasn't sure about. But I, I definitely took it. I took it one way.、Um, so, how far did. How far did. How far did she take it? That's, that's kind of the question. Because some of the things she said, like made love, and the things she said she did with Mochi, and.、Um, but then she said something a bit different for Kaori san. I remember that.、Um, so. It may not be as bad as what my first impression seemed to be. I mean, if, if this is accurate. I didn't know if that was how it was, but I would just assume she'd write, oh boy, do I, I hope. 
that. I hope it was just that. I couldn't say anything if she thought that. Ma, Jisei, Nani got the Kawa Yoku Wakaranaikara. Jisei, Nosato no Bonkura Toa, Mo Yenaika. Kiyonoske Sainaiwa, Oboet and Iwaka the show. Hmm. Was that part of her powers? Sinikaketuka, you may not have a so you are a dashi. Yeah, yep, yep. Mochi, Oboet is all. Uh, so that that's leading toward the extreme interpretation again then. Good point. Haru-chan was like the feeling of the time, is there a relationship? If you are still alive, I think yeah. Though Haru-chan's god was real, it was still a mask she'd made to bear the pain she'd experienced as a child. When we'd just talked, she'd mentioned it herself, but the tone was that of God. It was something that she could only say through the voice of God. The wounds were just that deep. The same could probably be said for Chiemi. Then I'd made the right choice calling her here. Mission one was way too hectic, so we had to postpone the answer to that until now. Rightness seemed like it was tied to intelligence and wisdom, but it was actually a concept as far away from those things as possible. Fixed decisions, preconceptions, obsessions, bases, obligations, and adherence to the old ways. The idea whether something was right or not chained people's minds before they could even think about whether something was intelligent or wise. Thus, mankind was bound by what was right, by God. Sometimes it was so bad, even they couldn't, real even they couldn't realize it. This interpretation of God, quote unquote, what really wasn't special or interesting in any way. The people bound by it couldn't resist their sense of right and wrong. Someone must have said something similar to that effect already. However, there were two things I hadn't expected. One, God was alive. And two, God could warp into something truly fearsome. Inu, dete konai ne.水色が開かれてないんだろう。結局あれってみんな狂犬病なの。Although I feel like I feel like I've heard where rabies are usually extremely fatal, there are extremely rare, rare instances where someone could survive. Maybe if it was treated immediately or something like that. M yeah, maybe it's something like that. Maybe if you treat it extremely early, you could be okay. But if, if if left to fester, then it's pretty much guaranteed. Something like that, maybe. Hmm.汚れの運び出たる獣を刺激するっていうのが新内信仰としてはしっくりくる設定だったからでしょう。余物狼の手下の余物無地な、そしてそれを管理しているミグルマこそ新内さんの一の子分。
普通だっただけさちなみに君はそのちゃんと検査とかはしたのしたよ大学進学して勉強してその後すぐに結果は陰性だった What a relief So she wasn't infected Rabies could linger in a body for a long time and anyone infected ended up dying It was a pretty awful disease Really for a long time I thought it was、uh, pretty quick But then again, I'm not a rabies expert. <laughs> I just know、uh, a general idea of it.、Um, but I didn't know that. I didn't know it could last a long time. Hmm. That's right. No, you, you must have been a, a kid, right? Younger? You were younger when you were bit, weren't you? Because then you were sent to Yasumizu. And then how long was it until you went to college? Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, Mattak Tadashi has so that. This conversation about sort of rightness and stuff, it's kind of interesting. I think it relates a bit back to the,、uh, the conversation. Where Haruaki brought up the idea of evil, the, the conversation he had with Haru.、Um, yeah, I think, I think it's related to that. Another relief. That alone made God's murder all worth it. I resume my explanation. God was alive. Why? Because humans sought what was right. They tried to be right. They all tried to justify their existence, actions, possessions, relationships, and try to make everyone else see it their way. That was close to human nature. It was the belief that human nature was fundamentally depraved. There was no objective good in this world, but there were things that were right for the era and location. God, basically. People could justify their existence and live on by obeying the god of that time and place. It was something that everyone submitted to in order to survive or live well. It was a byproduct of the desire to live and die the right way. Thus, people would want to prolong the lives of gods that were connected to their way of life. ミグルマが重機で崩落させてたってことそういうことだろうね。今こうして道があるってことは。道のことはいいけど、宴が済んだら霧が晴れるかどうかってどうやって操るの霧が出るかどうかはランダムでいいけど、やませるのはどうすればうーん。植松家の不思議能力もどうやら存在したみたいだし。<笑>ミグルマにも長者としてそのくらいの力はあったんじゃない Come on, man. You, you've gone out of your way to explain everything or most things with you know, realistic answers. And now when it's come to this, oh, maybe they just have special powers too. ヤグラの見張り、天気版だったんでしょうーん。まあ、あるいは。今回の宴に限っては、植松里香子の夢の中で、天候くらいは調整されてたのかもしれない。過去の宴については、例えば、霧が晴れた朝に適当に狼皆殺しにして、汚れで強制終了にしてもいいし、ぶっちゃけ、前回の宴では霧の調整失敗してるっぽいから、あんまりちゃんとはしてないよ、多分。Then again, it could have been God pulling something weird, so maybe that was an exception. Yatsra にとっては休みず住人が適当に殺し合ってくれればよかったんだ。そうやって舐めていて、こうなった。なるほど。God would change. Human society shifted, and with that, so did the standards of right and wrong. There were changes one had to accept whether they, or not they were good or bad. 
Thus, God would change, and so would personalities, dogmas, and perhaps even existences as a whole. That could be considered a kind of evolution. Of course, it would mix with other gods, too. And it could be considered uh, breeding. More than that, God was infectious. Rightness was reflected in everything surrounding human life. Words, way of living, ways of living, culinary traditions, and a lot more. Construction styles, clothing, art, etc. Those who embodied a certain god, sense of rightness, displayed it with every move they made. And they also gave this god to those who'd visited the place or were born there. It was like a living being. No. It was like a... A disease or a virus. Kiri, mo koaku nai na. Kami sama ga mikata shite kurete ru kara. So shite, Shin nai san mo, O kami sama mo, mo i nai kara. Kegare ga koakatta chiemi wa, mo koagara naku te mo i kara. Atarashi kami sama wa, sore nari ni osorete agete ne. The rightness that seeded itself in human minds and lives then multiplied, mutated, and spread to others. Thus, God was alive. It wasn't just a concept. It was actually alive. In my mind, it was like a a mind-based organism. Though, it could only surface in such a dangerous manner because of Yasumizu and the Feast of the Yomi Purge. Two abnormal setups. But God was dangerous even if you ignored that. I'd mentioned before that there was a moment when God became dangerous. God was at its most dangerous when its name was forgotten. God was fine when it was revered. God was fine when it was acknowledged. But what if that God became forgotten? They would just recognize it as righteous and stop questioning it ever again. When distressed, people invoked God even if there, were no, there was no religion involved. That was the kind of animals we were. Normally, such gods represented only the rightness and goodness within the heart of a single person, so it wasn't much of a threat. However, gods who had been forgotten only had their identities forgotten. They still retained the power to influence people. But the forgotten gods, those who possessed nothing but the name of God, would be willing to create situations that no one unfamiliar with the god would be able to comprehend. The Migaruma had planned a warped plot that clearly wasn't worth the effort and could, e could even end them if exposed. And the people of Yasumizu had reluctantly accepted it and gone on to kill each other. That was all the fault of God. Of course, you could say it was directly done by Great Lord Shanai or the Snake, but at the core of it all, there was a fear of death and darkness. The mountain was the darkness, and the darkness was Yomi. The mountain used to be a strange realm that birthed endless darkness and death. Thus, the people here had secrets, could readily murder others, and could hide that from the world. The truth behind the feast was the unforgettable loyalty to God. So, you're 自分が自分でないものに操られる感覚は確かに怖い。操られている自覚もないのに操られるのは気づかなければいいけど、気づいたらより怖いだろう。君はたまたまただ一人気づいてしまった。だから怖かった。無理もないさ。まあ、今回は
誰かさんが神様を生かす芝居をしちゃったし全員に巻き戻りがどうのって言っても理解されない以上あれがベストわかるけどなんかもやっとするあらゆる存在は他者からの影響を受けてそこにいるそれを望まないなら僕みたいに反発するしかないそれは気づいた本人があがくべきこと誰かにしてもらったり押し付けられたりすることじゃないあなたは最初から自由だなだからやっぱ怖いやあなたは操る側神様と同じ側のやつだねまた打つかいもう実弾しかないから勘弁してあげようでさこれもう上富士吉まで歩いちゃう流れこの先何があるのそれが僕もはっきりとはヘロー Isako Mamiya appeared out of nowhere and swung her bag at us. We managed to jump back just in time. Ma Mamiya san? So, you are here, my niece, and I'm here to get together. You know what the talk on me? Sumiwa san? What are you? What are you? Ah, Sumiwa san. Genji no Joe Ho take your shades. Anata Naka! Do you go to your core? Kariku Yinotsu no Chikina Nakado? ああまあ説明すると長いんだけどさっきの場に部外者はまずかったので身車家の怪奇スキャンダルを垂れ込んで上藤吉側に行ってもらいましたああ。I feel like that was not. Like, I get it. You want them out of Yasumizu, but that's still dangerous territory up there. Actually, I had Mitsuji do some work, but、uh, I couldn't fit that into the summary. Max, mask people, what? They have sticks. How frightening. And here is another reference I do not know. Eh? So, no, I'm not sure if you're going to be a little bit of a pinch. Haruaki, I'm not sure. She's not sure. What's up? Seriously? A wolf actor jumped out of the mists. Clad in nothing but a patchwork wolf costume. To me, as I was now, it actually looked comical, but the power of the weapon in his hands was no joke. He was about to hurt me bad. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. The man himself. Suddenly, he was blown away. I heard him groan as he disappeared into the mist again and didn't get up for round two. Daijob, Kai. はいありがとうございますただあなたこれはどういうこと春明さん産業で説明を安水で殺人儀式を行おうとしてた連中がその道すがらを外の汽車に激射されて半ばパニクりながら襲ってきたんです何言ってるのか一言たりとも理解できないんだけど。後でシュール感を頭からぶっかけてでも説明してもらうからそれは嫌だいいじゃないですか元オカルトライターの面目役所でしょ<笑>ラキー That's not something you're supposed to know なんでそんな細かいことまで知ってるのよキューちゃんちょっと落ち着いてなんですか橋本さんこの際言いますけど橋本さんちょっと余裕ぶっこきすぎです怪奇なめたらいつか死にますよああそれは確かだな<笑>まあまあ僕のことはいいんだけど
廃棄うんぬんの前にまず物質的な脅威に対処しないとまずそうだな。Right as he finished those words, several wolf actors jumped out of the trees making weird screams. That was very loud. Are you just gonna let rip with your weapon there? Yeah, I was gonna say. Although, you know, it would be self defense if it's a.、Uh... You say a stick. D- describe the stick, please. Sticks can be dangerous. <laughs> a stick flew by her, missing, messing up her hair. As Chemi dodged, Hashimoto san had moved into everyone's blind spot and blasted away two of the enemies. Probably out of a sense of chivalry, they first went for the scrawny guy. That pissed me off. And hey, it was two against one. Oh no, they beat me. Oh my goodness. We're getting some action scenes. Hashimoto san tackled one, while Chemi san landed a jump kick on the other, saving me. I mean, she looks like it, it looks like she has powerful thighs here. My goodness. Hit in the jaw, the wolf was knocked down with one hit. The mask fl- fell off. And hey, he even looks scrawnier than me. What the hell? Whoa, I'd say so, yes. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like a stick. That looks like a bat. That's definitely dangerous. Easy, you're still in there. Oh, yeah. She had great legs. <laughs> Everyone's getting in on the action. Ami san was actually doing good work just by swinging her shoulder bag around. Yes, strike them down and give them history lessons all at once. Whoa, a flail's advantage was that you didn't need that much power to hurt with them, but、uh, this gourmet rider was so strong that it didn't matter. Was that a bag full of rocks or something? All the ones hit in the head were knocked senseless. You know, I hadn't expected Mission 3 to be an all out battle with this group. It didn't last longer than 10 minutes. Everyone on their side was scrawny, while everyone on my side, myself excluded, were berserkers. Because of that, the dozen or so wolf actors that fought us ended up knocked out on the ground around us. Though, I knew this wasn't over. This problem had a mythical solution. Mission 3. Dealing with the Migaruma, the leaders of the feast. Okay. We are actually going to call it here, I believe, because <laughs> now, that we've, now that we've had the previous two examples of the、uh, last missions, we know that this is going to probably be a scene that lasts a while. And it, I'm already getting to my limit. And. Once again, it is very late for me. So I'm going to call it here. And next time we'll start afresh and 
go throughout the whole mission three and maybe what's what happens afterward if there's time okay i've been the warm this has been raging loop and uh it was definitely raging today what with uh some mortal combat action <laughs> all right we'll uh we'll all see you next time have a good one